So I figured I'd show some of the preview three features and explain uh, how they work. So since as you can see my videos in the corner, that's YouTube and you can actually now use uh, the other app and see how it doesn't mess with the video API. So it's actually super, super important that they updated that because now it makes multi-window a lot more useful and functional as well as they, they pretty much revamped the whole multi-window interface. Like as you can see right now, you can actually, it has a little animation when you do stuff. You can make it go more left, more right. Um, and if you do it in portrait, which I'll demonstrate to you right here, Because all of this is pretty much one solid thing. Whoosh. All right, we went to portrait just to show the significance of how everything changes a little bit. So now you see how you can make Hangouts one third of the screen, or you can make YouTube one third of the screen. And it doesn't mess with the video. It still can play video, it's still nice and smooth. Or you can bring them both in half, which is where it tangibly is. Um, that's really cool right there. That's the whole multi-window features, uh, basically how they work with the multi-window. And also the Google Keyboard. Now the Google Keyboard has been completely revamped. Like, I mean, this is the biggest update I've ever seen with Google Keyboard. I actually think this is the biggest update. So long story short is the swiping is still there. You guys still got that. Um, the emojis have their own little tiles in the top. As you can see, um, you can also have your own little dedicated emoji button to get to all of the new emojis. All right, now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do those as well. Why not? This is gonna be a super duper long video then, <laughs> but um. Okay, so essentially, let me try to go through all of the features of the keyboard. And let me turn it back to, to that so that we can get the full screen back. Alright, so one of the big changes you can see is... You see how smooth that animation was? Like everything is smooth now, which I love about multi-window at least. The one-handed mode, which is awesome. You can actually make it go right-handed or left-handed. So in case you're one of those, it's great. You can change the keyboard height for the first time in Google history to any size that fits you. I might even go mid-short for a while. Still all the same options you had before with the sound, vibration, things like that. Uh, if you turn them off, you actually gain a little bit of battery life. A little tip if you are not uh, familiar with that. Now, here's where it gets crazy at. Keyboard theme. You literally can switch the keyboarder um, to see. This is how it looks, you know, standardly. It would look like that. You can switch it to anything you want. And I got it like that. So it looks more like a Microsoft keyboard type thing. You can upload your own image and put that as your keyboard if you want. All these different colors, you got like white, you got red, you got blue, you got teal. You got so many different shades and variations to it that it's kind of amazing that Google actually decided to do that. Because last year with Material Design, they had the white theme, the black theme, and then they had micro um, the, the Material Design or Hollow. So pretty much you had four different keyboard options. Now, you... You, you essentially got an infinite number because you can make your own keyboard designs. This is all the text correction options. This is all the gesture typing options. You can pause the video if you want to see it uh, more in depth. New features like this, which it actually sync those words um, with any other phone, computer, or anything else that's using your Gmail account. So... Google accounts are now synchronized in all different ways, even the words that you use. Now, obviously, you see how it says this is not available for me because I'm uh, I'm in a Google Apps for Business. I told you, I'm in every Google beta program they have, there is, literally. So I can't use that because they are like, well, we don't want it to transfer to the business side of your things. Um, you can actually Google me now. And um, if you actually Google Aqua Ninja, you'll see all of the 
statistics and you'll see all my social medias and things like that. Uh, cool thing, you can share snippets now with Google Keyboards. So that's cool if you want to help out Google a little bit. Alright, so now getting into the actual keyboard. Swipe gesture is better than ever. It's really, really cool. And let's see what we got. This is actually my first time using it, I'm not even joking. Oh, so now it's a, it's a dedicated button to bring the keyboard down, which is cool. Because even on iOS, the only way you would have to do is uh, to bring the keyboard away is to tap the screen or go to something else. Now they have an actual button to bring it down. That's very stock Android. They have a number file uh, little keypad button. So now you can have a little mini calculator type thing right here. Easy if you want to like type in a number instead of you having to go, oh, ABC numbers abc numbers now you can just have everything in the just number format another thing you probably did note is the fact that you can use the top layer right here for numbers you can have all the letters and the numbers for up that part you can now remove suggestions if you don't use them that much super like all these features are super useful if you're a google enthusiast um all right let's get into the emojis it really wants me to do emojis so i'll do them this is all the new emojis a couple new ones like uh this tilt face right here that i just clicked on i haven't seen that one before and you can see how you can go back to the previous screen by just pressing a button uh wow cowboy hat clown Uh, a couple of new ones. Sick face, now it's green. The, the running nose face. The skulls. Like, almost all of these are new. Oh my goodness. You got the grandma now, finally. See, you can actually change your skin tone. Um, lots of different ones in here. The Prince. People don't even remember it. There, there was no Prince in the last one. Even with iOS, you still can't get a Prince. You can only get the, the Princess. The Shrug Face, that's kind of cool. The Face Palm. Finally, they have a face palm emoji. I will that that's whew. If you if you don't agree with this generation, you're gonna use that a lot Before you had to use like the X or something like that now you can use the face palm noise Yeah, even the dancer girls got the new things noise Some new family emojis a selfie emoji. All right, you, this is when you know we're in 2016. A selfie emoji. The typical hand gesture. Oh, they got fist bump though. What? And the wiggy wiggy. I think that's like rocket power. If you if you remember that nose. I don't know why they have a nose one. Like off. Uh, Fudge it, we're just gonna put all of the body parts on there. Oh, um, an elk, a, a koala bear. <laughs> so, animals definitely, there's gonna be some new ones a lot of new ducks, birds, and aquatic animals. You can freeze this at any point if you want to uh, get this more in depth. The dying rose. New fruit, okay, I see. Is that an avocado? They finally put avocado in there. Wow. Wow. Not gonna say anything about the banana here, but okay. Spicy chicharron. What's that? Um a croissant? Croissant. 
lots of new foods. I mean, I, the person who made this must be a foodie. So many new emojis. Even like certain ones are just revised to, to look cooler. Which I, I will appreciate. Maybe I might be the only person to appreciate it. But I do. Canoe stop sign. It's all the time ones. Is One of my favorite emojis of all time. I'm not joking right now. Is the weather girl blowing the wind. I have no idea why I like that emoji so much. It kind of fits any scenario. If you think about it. <laughs> you could be like. It was cold. And then like she's like blowing cold air. So that fits. Like it's she literally can fit anything. Like. When people throw shade, you could be like, mm, throwing shade, and you can throw her <laughs> put her right there. Like, she kind of fits everything, which is why I, <laughs> I probably use her a lot more than anybody else. Oh, nice little comment. It's like a bazillion new emojis. First place, second place, third place. Remember before it was just the star? A boxing glove for boxers out there. I'm gonna beat you up. Uh, what's that uh, ninja ninja samurai right there on the side? Dude fencing. You can even make the basketball. <laughs> that should have just been standardly black, right? Oh, self racist jokes. I love it. Um, that's a new smart emojis technology based and all the female um workers are also in here too because because feminism you know females are like we're not equally represented in this we only have we only have the the dancing girl emoji we want more so they decided to just put them in there uh now it's like a lot of them i think it's like the farmer the scientist uh, it's like a lot of those a coffin, okay. He's like all the basic emojis that nobody ever uses. I mean, you got like a lot of new ones, but who use these? Maybe yin yang people might use. All the zodiacs. This is like completely random emojis. Japanese. No, actually, Kai, that's uh, that's Chinese. Come on, Aqua Ninja, how do you not know that? Uh, cause I'm not a weeaboo. <laughs> All the flags. Now, if you are still watching this video, let me know in the comments below which country you're representing, because here's all of them. And I can clearly see that they added at least 20 new flags. Like, even most of these, I'm like, wow, I'm not even used to seeing any of these. UK, I see you. That one looks kind of cool. Hong Kong. I think my, on my, uh, statistics for the demographics my fourth highest country is something weird like um like belgium or sweden or something because for most american youtubers your first three are almost synonymously going to be united states uk canada in some order but the fourth country the fifth country that that's where it gets a little weird it's like who are they going to be I think my fourth is either Brazil or or that place and the fifth one is like that. I was like, what? I know why Brazil though, because I'm I live in Miami, so it's it's kinda second nature. US. You know, it's a lot of Brazilian, so it's like we can see where that could come in handy. So that's all the emojis. Hope you guys enjoyed looking at the keyboard the new changes 
and all of that good stuff with the multi window. Um, there's a few other little kinks with the keyboard, but really, they're really small changes. Things like you can put the numbers at the top or how you can implement uh, multi touch features. But who uses those things anyway, right? So this is a quick little feature preview of Entry Preview 3. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, have an aqua day.